We're here at L.L. L. Bean's house in Freeport, Maine. So for the first time ever, L.L. Bean opened their doors to an outsider, and I gotta take a look at this wonder. So I started here. This was kind of the coolest part. It started in 1912, and it goes to current date, but it has every catalog they ever produced. I ran across this item, which is a gem, Mr. Leon Leonwood. As you can tell, he's a pretty dapper dude. This is a really cool, iconic piece. Trail vest. It was a goose down, made in USA. This is really where it all began. The chamois shirt has a really interesting story. LL really liked what a wool shirt does. Obviously, it keeps you warm. So he created this version, which is made of cotton, and they call it the chamois shirt because of the finish. It, it feels like a chamois cloth that you typically get from a cow. I just found this one. This thing is amazing. A little bean fits the world like a good pair of boots. This is the boot archive. And this is like the land of the bean boot. And everything in here dates from you know early 1900s all the way to today. It really kind of hit me that this boot has always been around since I've been alive, but this really was a, a great invention that LL created to kind of get through the muck and get through the environment out there. These are just a few things that I pulled out from the archive. This one in particular is kind of where everything started from a color perspective. You know, classic red and black plaid. Some of my favorite detail pieces are seeing when this was produced. I'm always looking for like the most interesting label. So the label we ended up kind of digging out of the archives was this, this wonder here. Kind of the old, that's L.O. Bean's actual handwriting. This one, which I love, this is Katahdin uh, Mountain. Thing. This thing's amazing. So this is apparently the original boat and tote. It was actually called Bean's Utility Ice Bag. As I was going through the archive and kind of thinking about what we're gonna call this collection, it kind of became apparent to me, if you're not from Maine, you're from away, and if you're from Maine, you're considered a Mainer, or as they say, Maina. This would be a great name for the collection, from away, and it really made a lot of sense for us to do something that was rooted with L.O. Bean, but also had this outsider twist on what they do. 